Aaron Donald was on I Am Athlete podcast and said that he's at peace with his career. If the Rams and him don't get a deal done, he's at peace. After winning a Super Bowl, he wants to go back out there. He wants to taste it again, but he's at peace. So what do you think this means for the Rams and Donald who he has no guaranteed money left on his contract, so he wants a new deal or at least guaranteed money. What does this mean? Do you think Aaron Donald has a chance that he doesn't play next season? I, There is a chance. For sure there's a chance because I understand after listening to the interview that Aaron Donald is definitely at peace at this point in his life. He's accomplished everything there is to accomplish for a defensive player. He has reached the mountaintop. He has a Super Bowl. You could debate that he should have been Super Bowl MVP. He has the All Pros. He has the Defensive Player of the Year awards. He has done everything that you could ever ask of a football player. And he's done it in a span of, what, eight, nine seasons? The efficiency that Aaron Donald has shown on the football field is second to none. You could debate that he is the best defensive football player of all time already. He doesn't have anything else to prove. He understands that. He knows that. I have the Super Bowl. I have my resume that could go up against any player on the defensive side of the ball. There's none for me really to show anymore. If the money's there, the money's there. I'd love to run it back because he says that I've tasted what it is to to have a Super Bowl and I want to chase that feeling again. And that's the, one of the only reasons why he's even contemplating coming back. But it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't suit up again. He's done everything that you can ask. And he said during the interview, he came into the NFL preparing to play eight seasons. He said, once I do eight seasons, I'm going to retire, and that's going to be it. And just so happened that that eight season, they went out and won Insane. a Super Bowl. You know, he won a couple years prior with Jared Goff in the way, didn't win, lost to New England that year. Um, I think there is a really good chance because, you know, he had that Super Bowl run. That was probably the last thing on his bucket list to really check off. I mean, if he wants to go for rec- longevity records like most sacks ever, most pressures ever, like, sure, he could do it. But Aaron Donald, he's already being compared as the best defensive player of all time. He's already getting talks with Reggie White and Demarcus Lawrence's and Deion Deion Sanders. Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor. (laughs) Did I say Demarcus Lawrence? Demarcus Lawrence. (laughs) Lawrence Taylor. Mm -hmm. Um, Sorry if that came off rude. uh, What what did I say? Demarcus Lawrence? Yeah. Yeah, uh Lawrence Taylor. Cowboys edge rusher. Lawrence Taylor, who was I meant to say. Um, He's already getting compared to those guys only being eight seasons in the league. So... For him, he already knows how dominant he is. And it was funny. I watched most of the interview. Like, he's such like a humble guy. Like, oh. they were talking. He's like, you know, when we're comparing you to Lawrence Taylor's and Reggie White, he's like, you know, like, you know, I think I do a good job. You know, I'm going to let everyone say what they want to say. I'm like, bro, if I'm Aaron Donald, like, I'm going up there. I'm talking my I shit. Am yapping. Yeah, I'm talking my yapping. shit. But um, no, he's a really humble guy. I mean, he's going to want to get paid as the highest non paid quarterback in the NFL. They, that was one of the questions I think it might have been Brandon Marshall who asked him. He said, like, what do you think about these non QB players getting paid like quarterbacks? And his answer was, you know, I make play like I might not make every play like quarterback, but they should get paid more than me. But we should be at least in com- in the conversation with them, right? Like he goes out there, he made the game winning play more or less on Joe Burrow to secure that victory, and he's not touching the ball every play like Matt Stafford does for him. But he deserves to get Tyreek got thirty million a year. Aaron Donald's probably looking at it like, yeah, I should be getting like 30, 35. 35 million a year. I'm the best defensive player of our generation, arguably of all time. So I think he's at peace with it. Sean McVay did say on Wednesday that they're making good progress towards a. I don't know if it's long-term, one year, or whatever it might be. But I think that having that ring, looking at the NFC, seeing how wide open it is, um, I think there's a chance maybe he gets like a one-year deal for a ridiculous $35 million all guaranteed and tries to run it back for one more season. Because without him, like this team changes a lot. You take away the most dominated player probably at every position off the field. Like that Rams defense is going to come down a ton. I don't think this is a big deal. Because I think the Rams are going to get a deal done with Aaron Donald. There's no way they don't get a deal done with Aaron Donald. He's he's open to it. All he wants is guaranteed money. The Rams cap situation is not the best. But teams like the Saints have shown in the past that that doesn't really matter. If teams want to do it, they're going to get it done. They're going to find a way to get it done. Aaron Donald's playing this season. The Rams are going to find a way to give him all the guaranteed money he wants. If he wants a 10-year deal, give it to him. It doesn't matter. Like, you're right. He's been the best defensive player in football for, I would say, five Five years. Five Five years without a doubt, he's been the best in football. So this is a no-brainer. If Aaron Donald doesn't play for some reason, are the Rams still contenders? Now, if you believe in Matthew Stafford as much as you believe in Matthew Stafford, the answer's no. you might still say yes. The answer's right? no. Wait, I'm sorry, no. what was your question? Are they still contenders? No. 
Without Donald? Without Aaron Donald, the best defensive player in the arguably in the history of the in game. In a weak NFC. Sure they could be contenders. What? Okay, who so But they're definitely not the title favorites that they are right now. They're goes, not the favorites to come who, out of the who NFC. When the NFC anymore. jumps over them without Donald. Could the Bucks? Easy the Bucks. Bucks easy. You, you could debate the Packers you, even Packers you, debatable, Niners debatable. Cardinals uh, You could. Uh, You're taking maybe. away their best defensive player. I understand that. Comes to offense versus offense. Like even like yeah, Donald without question makes a huge impact. But you just look at the rest of the NFC and it's like even without him, like there's It's still like you gotta understand Aaron seed. Donald makes that entire line better. I agree. I don't know, man. That's that is one of the hugest like, losses a the team could ever see. I, I don't see them losing Donald and now they're out of the playoffs. No, I don't think so, but they're not But I could see them losing Stafford and and having a backup and oh, being course. out the playoffs. Yeah, oh, for, for sure. sure. For sure. I understand what you're saying. Um, but I'll say this. I, I'm i confident that the Rams could go back to the Super Bowl right now. Without Donald, I promise you that is not my opinion. I still, Even without Donald, I still think the only team, with or without him, that really competes is the Bucks. We'll see because I'm not... Can you tell me another player on that defensive line that you're worried about outside of Aaron Donald? No, Leonard Floyd. But not... I mean, Donald is one of one. I just I yeah, but what I does struggle. Floyd look like without Donald? He was a great player in Chicago. I I know, but it, it changes now when, was you, also when there. you don't have um when you don't have team the Hex. best defensive player defensive mm-hmm. line. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. on the team, like Leonard Floyd now gets all the attention as being the primary guy you have to worry about every time you snap the ball. Listen, I definitely think that they could be a playoff team, but they're not the Super Bowl contenders that I have them today. I was wondering why you gave me such a crazy look when I said Deion Sanders, and I was like, oh, I said to Marcus Lawrence. Uh huh. No, Dion, obviously. That's yeah, prime time. That's what I, I was like. It's, wow, wow. You have Lawrence Taylor, you have Prime, and now you have Aaron Donald, yeah. right? Those are the three grouped together. And Reggie White, you got to him in respect. Yeah. Me and Joe Green. I mean, course. Donald Donald leaves their defensive line is because they don't have no depth. It's, it's, it's not, that's my point. It's not just that. It's just they don't have no depth. Correct. So it'd be Sean Robinson, Greg Gaines, Bobby Brown, and Leonard. Ford. It would be it's mid. Ugly. It's ugly. I think they'd have a bottom 20 defense, but their offense would still be top five. For sure. And, and you can't forget that. Obviously, Jalen Ramsey's still on that defense, and he's going to have his impact. But no Aaron Donald. It's going to be a lot of— Eric Weddle retired again? <laughs> he'll probably be back week uh, week nine, week 18, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's—I uh, hope he comes back, man. You know, like— so Of I'm, course, as a fan. As a fan, but it's also like— I Like, like the, those players, like, going to the come mind, like him, Calvin, Barry Sanders, like the ones that go out, like, being the best player at their position, some of them best players in Andrew. the NFL. Luck, word. Yes, like— you know. There, there's some, there's some part of me that I'm like, you know what, like go out on your time. Don't let, like, don't, don't miss the last three years because of injury or you weren't yourself. Like you made your money and he could do whatever he wants for the rest of his life. Being 29 years old right mm-hmm. now, right? You're a fan of that. You're saying, yeah. Okay, I, yeah, I understand. You know? But as a, f- I understand. But also, exactly he, he has a chance saying, to probably sign a three or hundred million dollar deal. It does break my heart. Like when Calvin retired. Oh yeah, it was terrible. I was broken. I was, I yeah. was sad. Yeah, I know. When Luck retired, I was sad. I hate to see these guys go out that that young, but I understand. You think that Andrew Luck, at his best, is better than Joe Burrow now? Yes. Eyes he, closed. He, yeah, he went from literally the. I mean, I they guess were Burrow did, yes. did a year two. Fair, fair. No. and he went to Super Bowl. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm not going to get crazy. No, Andrew Luck. Yes, it's for not sure. with your eyes closed though. No, it's with my eyes closed. It's really not. What's what's Luck's best year? You know the uh, I think it's 20, 2017. He had, 40, he had 40 something. Or 2016. 2017, 2016. In 2014, he put up, uh, got lost. 4,700 yards, 47. 40 touchdowns, 40, yeah. 16 interceptions. And the year he re- like the year before he retired, 4,600 yards, 39 touchdowns, 15. Yeah, no, nah, it's luck. Freak. It's luck right now. <laughs> I could tear up right now. 11 and 5, 11 and 5, 11 and 5, injury, 8 and 7, 10 and 6. Luck or Herbert? Luck. Herbert's on his way. He I is. feel like, I, here's my honest opinion on it. I think Andrew Luck was phenomenal, but he does get the, he does get a bit overrated because of the fascination factor with him. Nah, he was amazing. He no was, way around I'll it. I'll be honest, bro. No, he was, he was amazing, but his best seasons are what Herbert's doing in his first two seasons. What Herbert just put up last year? 30, 36 touchdowns, I believe. He had 47 and 40. What year? 2014, his third season. Justin Herbert's doing it in his second season. Oh, oh second versus third. Oh, come on, bro. In his second season, her, uh, oh, 20, sorry, Herbert threw 38 number. touchdowns, 15 picks. How many yards? 5,000. Yeah. He's right there. 
But Luck did it and went 11 Listen, and 5 I'm not, years. I'm not saying my eyes. So are, now winning matters. Winning, with, winning has with, always mattered. Because Burrow won 10 games and made the Super Bowl. Winning has always mattered. For, for him, one, it doesn't matter. No, you're the one who flip flop on winning matters or winning does not matter. No, because. That's why you so put why Burrow do you have, over these so guys. So why do you have Burrow low then? Why what do you mean? have Burrow lower if winning matters? When my mindset has always been winning is a part of the equation. It's not the only thing. It's not the most important thing, but it's a part of the equation. But when their stats are identical and then one guy wins, you don't have Burrow over them still. Was his stats identical to Justin Herbert? They were. Were they? Yeah. What was Burrow's uh, numbers last year? He put so 5, Herbert, 38. 38 touchdowns, 15 picks. Burrow through... I think he had 14. 34 picks. touchdowns, 14 picks, 4,600 yards. Yeah, Herbert was a little bit better. And 70% completion percentage, Herbert's at 66. Herbert was better with definitely a better line for sure. Yeah. Significantly worse weapons. Okay. And I mean, they weren't the, bums. The, the but they're not bums, but T. Higgins and, and Jamar Chase. The drop-off drop from Herbert's weapons to... Um, the drop-off from Burrow's weapons to Herbert's weapons is much less significant than the drop-off Herbert would have from his offensive line to Burrow's offensive line. I agree well, with that statement. Now he's got probably I agree with that statement. Line. Even though Herbert's shown he can do it without a yeah. good offensive line his rookie year. He mm-hmm. showed he it. He was anyway. amazing. Listen, but, I, I had like Burrow, I don't remember my top 10, but they were in like between like two spots of each other. Yeah, Herbert, Burrow, 97. Yeah, I had Burrow 10, you're right. I Herbert, Burrow 97 10. passer rating, Burrow 108. What was that? Herbert had a 97 passer rating, Burrow had a 108 good for this him. past year. No, that's I'm just saying, because you know one guy goes over because of winning, but Burrow... It, like I, I said, just, winning, I just winning don't is know. part of the equation. I don't know why Burrow doesn't get thing. the benefit of the doubt in these conversations. What, what do you mean he, he does? He definitely does. That's all he gets. No, he doesn't. 